So I get asked a lot of times by people who approach me, business owners, founders, consultants, whether I can help them drive leads and how I can fill their pipeline and drive sales for them. And the sad truth is that by the time they generally come to me, they've caused themselves a massive problem by waiting too long to build their own reputation through video. I always struggle with committing to the metrics that most people want. So for example, if you went to a web designer and you asked for a website, you wouldn't then ask that web designer how many leads that website would generate for them. You'd know that having a website was a good place for your customers to get information about your business, help you be found, educate them, provide them with a start point, and maybe even do the sale. And video content and social media content is very much in the same vein. So people ask me, Paul, can you drive leads and can you drive sales opportunities and pipeline? And the answer is yes, but it's not very measurable. And what I mean by that is, so for a start point, it can take six to nine months to start seeing those leads come through. It's not a case of, we start producing video today and when somebody sees our video from tomorrow, they're going to reach out and you've got to go through this process of helping your audience to understand that you're out there, first of all, that you're an authority on the subject matter of which you are an expert. Show them your credibility and your experience and your motivation and enthusiasm. You've got to show them what it is that you do, what it is that you don't do. And all of these things then feed into a consistent sales funnel over time. And everything sees slightly different results because everybody's better on video. Everybody produces better videos than others. Some people have a better storytelling capability. Some people have some great ideas of content that, that will bring people to them. But more than all of that, there's so much that goes on behind that conversation as well. So if you think when we get to the point where somebody's reached out for your services, they might not reach out because your product doesn't actually solve the problem that they want, or you haven't articulated it in a way where they understand that. There's your messaging, your brand, your website, your ease of booking, your ability to sell your products and services, your ability to close those conversations and win them, your price point, your, there's, there's a million and one different things that happen after the first touch point. Video repurposing and social media brand are very much at the top end of that consideration. But with the right content being produced, you can take people pretty much all the way down that pump. Or once you've made them aware that you're there, you educate them on what you do and don't do. You make them aware of why you're an expert. You help them see when they should be coming to you so that when they have the challenges and problems that you solve or your product solves, they know they need to come to you because you're the expert and you can do that with video. But the best time to plant an orchard was 20 years ago. The second best time to plant that orchard is today. If you're a business owner right now that's sat there listening to this and thinking, I would love to have more sales leads in my pipeline. And you're not the sort of person that's interested in all of these lead gen companies that are in my inbox saying, Paul, we can get you 30 leads this month. And we're not going to take any payment unless you're, you're happy that they're all sales leads. Most of these people are absolute, you know, having my eyes out. They're, they're, they're delivering leads that are partly qualified, that are very loosely qualified and actually won't drive revenue. They'll just waste my time and their time. If you're one of the people that want to see real, consistent, good quality leads come over time, then we can work together. And that's what I always say to people is if you're willing to put the work in on the other side of things, I'll put the work in on my side of things, make it as easy and as simple as I can for my clients. But more than anything else, if you're wanting to see results out of personal branding, out of video, out of your social media presence, Video is the way to do it because nothing builds trust and awareness at pace like video does. It's a one-to-many relationship, but you've got to be able to put the results in. You've got to be able to put the time in. You've got to be consistent with it. You've got to get better at creating the content. I'm a big fan of helping my clients get better with their content and I'll fast track them through my own experience and things that have worked for me. But the fact is sometimes what's not worked for me might work really well for you. And what works really well for you might not work for me at all. So you've got to find your own path to an extent. And that's about iteration where you get the content out there and you see what's performing. You try new things, you try new ways of coming at it. And my job is to help you get those ideas out of your head, down onto video and out to your social media.
I could very easily make a lot of money from people by committing to the metrics, like how many leads I'll generate over the next six months for them. But I won't, and I don't, because I stand behind my morals. If somebody comes to you within the first six months of start to build a social media presence and really accelerate your personal brand, the likelihood is that they're not fully educated. And I see this a lot. I saw it myself when it's my own business, when I started to build Javelin out last year, I got a lot of people come and talk to us who didn't really grasp what it was that I do. And that was partly my fault because my messaging wasn't quite clear enough and I didn't articulate things really well. I was still learning how to do all of that. But then the other side of it also was they hadn't under, they hadn't viewed enough of my content and then absorbed enough of my content to fully understand who I was, what I was doing and why I was different. Now I tend to find that when people do come to me, they come to me and it's pretty much ready to go. It's Paul, I understand what you do. We understand what you're offering pretty much. I've got a few questions, but can you help us? And I was recommended to you because a friend of ours was working with you previously. And I've been able to go and find all the information I need on your social media accounts. So I've watched your videos. I love your content. I love your style. And I want to copy how you're doing things or do something similar to what you've done. I want to see that sort of growth in our business. Those sorts of people I can help. And it really is about putting, listen to the Alex Hormozy $100 million leads the other day. And he talked about being everywhere on social media at once, putting out vast quantities of, of posts. I don't always think that's true for reference. I, I, I don't always agree with that. He's talking about putting out content five times a day on LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. It's a possible tactic, but it becomes a lot of work. Even with the sort of services that we provide, that's a lot of work. I have put out five pieces of content in the day, and I wouldn't say it drove dramatically different results. But your focus has got to be on adding that value one way or another. It's not about selling your services. Selling your services comes as part of the package, of course. But what I talk to people about is, what if you could go out into people's inboxes, message them, but instead of pitch slapping them, you can tell them about how you create content that would be valuable for them and they should come and follow you. And when they follow you, they'll see that if the content's doing a good enough job, they'll want you to take the actions that you describe in your content for the ones that are a good fit, ones that are a good client for you. And that's what it's all about is, it's like going to the gym. If you don't go to the gym and expect results next week, you might see some, but if you lose that bit of weight quickly in that first week, you're also likely to put it back on quite quickly as well. And that's the red flag. So the, the people who've listened to some of your content, but they're just hoping you'll be able to quickly tick a box for them, but they're actually probably not a good fit. Whereas when you lose weight consistently over six months, nine months or a year, that weight tends to stay off, especially if you're having fun losing weight. Not many people can say they have fun losing weight. Just not many people can say they have fun recording video for, for social media. And that's why I set out with Javelin is to make it much more fun for people as much as possible to get rid of all the bits of that process that were hard to do, that were fiddly, that took the time up. And it's, it's like with any technology, it becomes a bit of a, a white rabbit hole. You can quickly lose yourself down that. I was spending 20 hours a week editing video when I first started. Uh, who's got time for that as a business owner? I was an employee figuring that out. So I figured out how to get that down to a much more manage manageable chunk of time. And I'll quite happily show people how to do it because if you can follow that advice and do it for yourself, then you're not actually a client of mine. I would like to think that one day you might recommend us to other people who might be clients, but if you can do what I do, then you should be doing it yourself. I say this all the time. Build it before you need it. So don't wait for your network to dry up. Don't wait for your business sales to dry up before you start to build a consistent social media presence. If you are going to build a social media presence, the fastest, most efficient way to do it is with video. And it's also the way that converts at the highest volume of loyalty, trust, and respect. Because people get to see you on screen. They associate you as a person. And we all buy from people. We don't buy from businesses. We buy, we like to buy from people that know our problems, know our situation, know and understand those. For example, I've got two sorts of client types that I help. One of them is consultants and independent freelancers. 
who want to get rid of that roller coaster of sales that they go through. You're 12 months in a contract, you're paying your bills nicely. It's a, it's a really lucrative contract. All of a sudden, that contract is a month out from being up and you've got no leads from your next piece of work because you haven't been engaging with your network. You haven't been out there on social media and everybody's forgotten about you because you've had your head below the parapets getting on with work, which is fair enough. I work with those sorts of people to them smooth that roller coaster out so that they can be engaging with social media whilst they're working through their contract, but all of the heavy lifting is getting done by me and my team. So that when it comes to the end of that contract, hopefully you should have a few irons in the fire and your downtime is minimized. You might have a couple of weeks, a month, maybe six weeks in the middle, which most freelancers and consultants enjoy that time because that's their holidays, right? So I'm helping those sorts of people to minimize that sort of shape of their pipeline, that up and down peaks and troughs. But then I'm also working with business owners and, you know, I've got a big thing about helping purpose-driven businesses and customer-centric businesses, people-centric businesses, because I'm curious, massively curious about the human condition and how we do what we do and why we do what we do and the crazy ways that we justify that in our heads. I'm a big fan of understanding all of that. You know, if you're in one of those businesses, great. If you're ADHD, well, I get you because join the club. And so the other sorts of people that I really enjoy working with are people who see the value of building a brand that aligns with their business. Not a business brand as such, but building their personal brand out to accelerate their business brand. Well, you're a senior leader within a small business. You've got your own business and you want to utilize your personal brand to promote your business. And I'm not a personal brand and expert, right? And I don't want to be badged as such. I know a lot about it, but I don't really, that's not my niche. But I can help show you how you can get your personality out there and your personal brand out there through video with a minimum input from you. So... As a small business owner, you've got a million and one different things to be doing. You're looking at finance, investment, and staying on track, and measuring your burnout rate, your bank account, your accountants, dealing with all of that. You've got operations in there, and how am I streamlining my strategy, and how I make this repeatable, and managing people, and HR. There's a million and one different things that a business owner has to do every single day. I want you to be able to spend more time doing the things that matter for you not messing about creating content for social media. We take the heavy lifting. You download your ideas and thoughts to us in a video. We do the magic for you. And that's the two main sorts of businesses we work with. Business consultants and freelancers and small business to medium business owners and into even large businesses. But like we work well with individual departments within the larger businesses. So I'm not talking about the business plan as such across the whole business. But maybe a, a sales team who want to raise awareness of their products and services, they don't currently do much with social media, or even an independent consultant within that who wants to use now to build their personal brand for their, their employer's benefit, but also acknowledging that it's something they'll be able to take with them in the longer run. And that's the beauty of building this presence is once you've done it and you've seen how it works, it's something that you can take with you wherever you go. No matter what. Yeah business you end up in, what you end up doing, how you end up doing it. When you create 20,000 followers, those 20,000 followers, unless you do something drastically wrong, will stay with you. Very unlikely that you'll get a huge amount of people unfollowing you, even if you move industry. And that's really powerful and it's really useful. So if you want to drive leads and business into your revenue, into your business today, you've waited too long. You've got two choices. You can either come to me ahead of time and say, Paul, well, I don't want to run out of leads in six to nine months. I've started the business. We're going strong. And now I want to grow into all the other channels that we can grow into. I can help you with that. And if you're, if you're at that point where you've already run out of leads, where you can see the pipeline start to dry up, I probably can't fix that in the short term for you. You're going to have to be brave, put your, put your big pants on and wait for the results to start throwing in. They will start to throw in if you prepare to put the time and effort it would and steer with it and have faith in the process. It takes time. Even for me, it takes time. It's doable. We'll do what we can to accelerate it as fast as we can, but it takes time. You've got to have faith in that process. 
but I don't want to talk to anybody about leads and lead gen as such, because that's not what I do. It's not what our ideal impacts are. It's all about reputation, authority, and building that brand through video.